One of the things we've done at the Kansas City Fed over the past several years is to offer a historic perspective on an important issue in the financial services world. In this case, we are taking a look at the history of America's African-American banks, particularly the earliest history. This is a history that I don't want to say it's been forgotten, but maybe it was in danger of fading away. Uh, this history has not been recaptured in a format that's accessible to most Americans for quite some time. And so I think it's our hope that we start a discussion that allows people to look at some of the catalysts behind these original institutions. And maybe that can serve as a little bit of an inspiration for those facing these problems today. We focus primarily on the history of three early African-American banks, uh, the True Reformers Bank in Richmond, Virginia, the Capital Savings Bank in Washington, D.C., and the Alabama Penny Savings Bank in Birmingham. Each one of these banks was not created as a way for its owners to uh, increase their profits. It was not viewed as a business opportunity. Each was created with, the, with an eye on improving conditions for the overall community and serving an important community need. These institutions were also particularly resilient. At a time when most American banks would only last between five and seven years, these institutions averaged a lifespan of about 20 years, making it through a particularly difficult national financial crisis in the late 1800s.